Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'll be showing you how you can pair your PS4 DualShock 4 controller to your iPhone or your iPad and use it to play games on your phone. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. It's pretty easy. Uh, the only requirement is you need to have a device that's running iOS 13 or later. So my phone is just updated to the iOS 13 public beta, so we are good to go. Uh, now the first step is to go ahead and jump into settings. Go to Bluetooth. And here we're going to go ahead and pair the controller. So this is a little bit different than pairing it to like a regular PS4 where you just plug it in, press the PS button, and it would pair. Uh, for this, we're going to need to hold down the PS button and the share button until it starts blinking. So there we go, it's blinking, and we can see DualSho DualShock 4 wireless controller right there. Press on that. And there we go, it's connected. Uh, now you can even see the battery percentage for it. So if we go and swipe down and go home and slide over, if you have the battery, uh, you can actually see the controller. Uh, and you can see my controller is just about dead. So uh, we gotta make this video quick. Now let's go ahead and test it out. Let's go ahead and jump into, of course, Fortnite. And this should work basically exactly how you would use a controller on a console. All right, so let's go and try this out. Uh, I'm not sure if it works in the menu screen, but we'll find out. It does, it works exactly how you would expect. Uh, and even shows the little icons um, of you know what you would press, like if you wanted to start a game or whatnot. You can see it shows the, uh, it actually shows the Y to play uh, and then the X to switch modes. Um, so it's, kind of viewing it as like a Xbox controller, I guess. Um, but obviously we have a PS4 controller and no Xbox controller. So let's go and start it up, press triangle to play, and we'll go and find a game. All right, we're just gonna try that one again. All right, so it appears to be working this time. And the controller works basically exactly like it would on a PS4. Wow, this is, it's very kind of weird to be playing a, an iPhone game using an external controller. The touchpad does not work to bring up the map, however. The options button does bring up the menu screen. The share button does not do anything. The PS button does not do anything. This controller is slightly broken. I'm not actually, it's very weird, but it is very annoying. But any other controller that is working properly would work just fine. Okay, so auto sprint does not work if you press L3 twice. R3 doesn't do anything. I don't think it's supposed to. But uh, yeah, it works pretty well. Uh, you just gotta make sure you're always sprinting because it doesn't auto sprint and figure out a way to uh, view the map by just, I guess, pressing on the screen, bringing up the map. Uh, but there's no way of bringing up the map on your controller. So uh, it looks like you just lost functionality in the right analog stick, but Oh, never mind. It's back. Uh, we're good to go. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Pretty cool. You can use an X, uh, Xbox controller as well. Uh, the setup is a little bit different. I'll have a video on that coming up soon. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching this video. Comment if you have any questions or anything. Uh, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.